in today's video i am going to talk about an old cricket game which is surprisingly good even in this advanced graphics intensive game era and uh, it is a nintendo cricket game which we we used to play uh, during 90s uh, so to play that game now on your mobile device or on your pc will need an uh, emulator and there are multiple uh, emulators available on the net you can download on going on various sites uh let me talk about this game firstly uh, this game does not have very good graphics i mean uh, very basic graphics are there but uh, regarding gameplay the gameplay is really good especially a uh, range of shots by the batsman and uh, the games become more interesting when we are playing in a versus mode so you can play with your friend or your family and uh, really uh, it, it can be enjoyed in a versus mode game or you can also play as a one player game against the computer of course uh the second thing is the players database in this game is quite old because that game was published in the 90s era but uh, certain files are there which we can customize the player database also for various teams uh fielding can be customized it is uh, well controlled and in the player's hand with some assistance from the computer of course also some of the new rules like free hit or umpire decision review system is not available here and uh, the bat batsman style like left handed batting right handed batting is not represented here with the name of the players but overall as far as gameplay is concerned this game is really good because uh, what do we see in today's game they are high on graphics but the gameplay is not that good means the game becomes predictable playing same shot same result in this game it is not there it depends on exactly on timing the type of delivery bold and also you can control fielding everything there are random wide balls no balls so you will you will feel it when you play and just try it you will love this game so first of all let's download the emulator for this go to the play store and type retro arc emulator there are various other emulators which we can use but this is best particularly to play one against one in a local area network or over the internet so download this retro arc i have already installed it so open it and after opening you can see various options for the first time we have to load some core so go to the load core option and you can see i have already installed Nintendo NES Famicom FCU core so you can go on the download core there are multiple cores which you can download and from here you have to select Nintendo NES this one GPL V2 uh, which i have already downloaded now uh, this is the just an emulator and you will need one game file which is .nes extension file which we have to load as a content here so i am going to link that file in description of this video you can download that file and go to load content here go to the storage where you have already downloaded file maybe in download for example i have stored here in the alarm folder and there is that file international cricket or uh, cricket mod basically this when you install or when you open that file <coughs> you can have this kind of gameplay we can turn your phone in the landscape mode and the below screen area there are controls d pad button and a and b button start select and so on so press on start first option we have first game single match world series practice and option so by going to option you can customize number of overs for example i am uh, selecting here as a 10 over match go to first game just for display and you can see this is the screen i am just giving basic idea of a gameplay now i am batting here so i will uh, i will describe about game later on now here i will show you the basic gameplay just going to practice here pressing the start button one player so i am playing uh, just i am i am practicing batting now so i will choose player 1 here 
uh, I will bat against fast bowler. So you can see the range of shots here. Straight. If you press A button, it will uh, hit from the land. That is ground shot. If you press B button, the batsman will hit over the field area. That is aerial shot. Like that. So you can use the combination of D-pad button. If you are pressing straight, you have to press the direction of the shot and then when the ball reaches the bat, at that exact time you have to press the A or B, either hitting on the ground or hitting over the field end. This is just a practice, on the actual game there will be fielding and everything. So for example, I am hitting now I will hit on the off side over the field area. Let's see if I am able to hit that. Like that. So you can have multiple shot. Like I will now try to play upper cut. But it depends on the ball. If ball is short length. Like that. But again I failed. Let's see. Like that. So I am able to play upper cut now. I can hit 6 like in the same manner. So it is a matter of timing. I now hit over the batsman. Over the bowler. Like this on the on drive. Uh, so I will select the team. My team is India of course. I will select the color of my jersey. Which is blue. Then... Uh, Opponent team is Australia, yellow color of course, here we have to uh, choose the players, so let's take not KL Rahul, that is a Pant, Kumar, Shami, Mura. Uh, I will go for uh, two spinners of course, Chahal and Ashwin, so my team is ready now. This is the component to component team. Uh, I will try to uh, take batting first. Uh, Shohit Sharma will be opener. Kohli on the other side. So let's play. That's a good shot for four. Another four runs. So it is basically a matter of timing. You have to select one. So now I was not able to play the shot depending on the ball. I will try to play overhead now on the offside. See, so it's a six. So you can choose your shots according to the delivery and the, of course, field set. Like this. Uh, by pressing A, you have to take the run. You can take the run. And by pressing B, you can run back. You can return. So in one hour, I have scored 16 runs. So here the bowler was his allude. The batting, Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli. Virat Kohli will be on strike now. So let's play. Second over, Virat Kohli on zero. Oh, that was good delivery. Couldn't take a run there. I will play to play on side over the bowler. No. Okay, probably. Okay, oh, that was out. So you see, the gameplay is really good, and uh, opposite player can set the field. I will uh, describe that in the two-player mode. I will try to play upper cut now. Let's play. No. No. So proper need. Okay, so I played upper cut, but. That was caught by the slip feeder. I am trying to show, we can, you can play seriously this game and hit many runs, but I am trying to show you the range of shots, that's why getting out. So uh, these are two Android mobiles and I will show you how to play LAN cricket game here. This is, uh, okay, these are the two devices. By opening retro arc on both of these devices. Let's take them in scope mode here and here. Okay. So now you can see I, I I will host game on one phone and join as a player on another phone. 
so first of all i have to load the core nintendo then load content that cricket mode nes file so the game has started now on one of the device similarly i will uh, first of all i will set host on this first device for that i have to go to main menu by pressing this button then i hope you are seeing uh, here i have to go to not in this menu go to back to main menu and uh, click on net play here then uh, click on host start net play host so host has started and this particular phone has joined as a player one now over to the second mobile here also we have already loaded this nintendo core load contain the same file which you used in the first mobile so go to this area android nes folder because i have saved that file in this particular folder now you can see uh, the same file has been loaded on the second device then how to connect to that host so again you have to press this menu button here go to main menu here also you have to select net play and now we have to connect to net play host if you have to enter server address but we will scan the available host here so click on refresh uh, refresh net play host list so you can see uh, there are number of host here uh, most of the hosts uh, hosts are on internet so we don't have to go there go to bottom of the list until it shows local so this is the device which we want to connect and before that i must tell you that both of these devices should be connected on same wifi network or you can uh, put one of the device on hotspot mode and another device is connected to that hotspot so the moment i place this local the both devices get synced and now the second device is acting as a player 2 so again click on the start button on the first device here resume game or you can just restart it by going back restart okay press start here uh, we'll first reduce the amount of power here option number of hours 10 so we'll play a single match it's a two player mode so i will select team as india here the circular blue and now team 2 will choose its team so it's australia yellow jersey it's okay so game is set now so you can see the uh, control designation is there on device 1 it is controller 1 now the team 1 will have to choose the number of their list okay i will try to select the list here i am handing this mobile to another person so on i am selecting the player list here red kohli everything i am taking okay so my player is set play start now on another device i have to select australia team some problem with the touch screen on this old device So now uh, ready to for coin toss
so australia is batting so that means this second device will have to choose the number of which batsman will play i am okay with this now on this bowler side here i have to select which which is the wicket keeper so i will go here i will put kl rahul as wicket keeper now the bowler i will open with bumrah so game is loaded i can set the field here by picking any fielder by with button e in scrolling any at any location and putting them so we can uh, keep the fielding restriction for 3 to 5 hours and then we can change the fielding so i'm keeping fielding as it is so now the game has started okay uh there is no one to play on the bowler side so i will just show you how to play so this is the australia will play the batting side this is the delivery uh to select the length that is yorker length long length short piece ball short length you have to press the respective buttons and for off off cutter or leg cutter you have to press this respective buttons so let's show by a means the stumps on the right side b means stumps on the b side that i will tell you later so press start press the uh, now i have to play play, play uh, i have to bowl the yorker lane delivery so press the button and press b the ball will be yorker there is no one to play on there so i will run by s button i have to fill that ball with this i will fill now i am showing you if you press b button here okay i will tell you on the next delivery so so i am fielding here okay so to throw the ball on the keeper side press a and if you press this button either of this button on the d pad and throw uh, if uh, if you are pressing the either of uh, button on the d pad and uh, simultaneously press a the ball will hit stump on the keeper side if you press b the ball hit ball will hit the stumps on the bowler side so you have to simultaneously press either of the button on the d pad and a or b according to the condition and if you are not pressing the d pad button and only pressing a and b the ball will go to either keeper or bowler directly and will not hit the stump so how that is done so thank you you can explore yourself other options but this game is great